the silence was deafening. On November 6, 2025, BYD's CEO Wang Chuanfu made an announcement that sent shockwaves through the global auto industry. This wasn't just a new car or a battery tweak, it was a declaration that the rules of the game had changed. Wang revealed BYD's breakthrough, a new EV with a certified 1-200-kilometer range, about 750 miles, priced at or below gasoline cars. The era of EV compromises, range anxiety, and high prices, over. Stock prices of legacy automakers plummeted. Tesla's shares wobbled. The market's reaction was instant and brutal. Wang's calm delivery masked the magnitude of the shift. Every automaker's roadmap was suddenly obsolete. This was a message to competitors, consumers, and governments alike. The EV transition wasn't gradual anymore. It was happening now. For years the world expected a slow shift to electric vehicles hampered by high costs and infrastructure gaps. In a single hour, BYD hit fast forward. Wang didn't just predict the future, he declared BYD would build it, starting now. The comfortable timelines of automakers worldwide, gone. The global auto industry had just been put on notice, the revolution had begun. For many, BYD, build your dreams, may sound new, but in the industry, it's been a giant for years. Founded in 1995 by chemist Wang Chuanfu, BYD started as a battery maker, quickly dominating the global market for mobile phone batteries. This expertise in battery chemistry and mass production is BYD's secret weapon. Unlike most automakers, BYD makes its own batteries, motors, power electronics, even semiconductors. Wang is an engineer, not a showman, and his deep technical knowledge gives BYD a unique edge. When he talks battery tech, it's from decades of hands-on experience. BYD's pivot to cars in 2003 was met with skepticism, but the company learned fast, investing heavily in R&D. A turning point came with Warren Buffett's investment in 2008, but the real game-changer was BYD's all-in move to EVs in 2022. Today, BYD is a global force, surpassing Tesla and EV and plug-in hybrid sales, with buses and cars in cities worldwide. Its strategy isn't just exporting cars, it's building factories in places like Hungary, Brazil, and Thailand. BYD's control over its supply chain makes it uniquely resilient. It's not just a Chinese automaker, it's a 21st century powerhouse. The world is finally taking notice. Wang's announcement was a two-pronged attack on the last barriers to mass EV adoption range and cost. He unveiled the Neptune platform, built around a revolutionary battery pack, an evolution of BYD's blade battery. The result, a standard verifiable 1-200-kilometer range, under the CLTC standard, shattering records and eliminating range anxiety. But the real shock price, the first Neptune car, the BYD Seal X, would launch at just $22,000. Within 18 months, five models, sedan, SUV, compact, would follow, all with similar range and price parity with gasoline cars. This wasn't just a high-end EV, it was long-range electric mobility for the masses. Wang also announced 800-volt architecture for ultra-fast charging, 500 kilometers of range, in 10 minutes. BYD is partnering with energy giants to roll out 500 key dollar chargers globally, starting in China and expanding to Europe and Southeast Asia. The infrastructure gap, closing fast. Wang framed this as the final push to make gasoline cars obsolete. A tipping point had arrived superior range, lower costs, and price parity. BYD isn't just taking market share, it's accelerating the end of an era. The internal combustion engine's days are numbered. BYD's growth is staggering. In 2020, it sold 415,000 vehicles. By 2024, over 3.5 million, making it the world's top seller of new energy vehicles. Its innovation and aggressive pricing have resonated with consumers in China and abroad. In Q3 2025, BYD held 22% of the global NEV market. Tesla had 15%. Volkswagen just 8%. In China, BYD's share is over 35%. Its wide range, from affordable hatchbacks to premium sedans, captures nearly every buyer. BYD's exports are booming, from 240,000 cars in 2023 to nearly a million in 2025. Its ships are now a common sight in ports worldwide. By building factories abroad and embedding in local economies, BYD is mitigating risks and becoming harder to dislodge. Financially, BYD maintains strong profit margins. 
even in price wars, thanks to vertical integration. Making its own batteries gives BYD a cost advantage rivals can't match. It can cut prices, gain share, and still fund R&D and expansion. That's why its latest move is so credible, and so terrifying for competitors. BYD's edge is its battery technology, especially the Blade battery. Introduced in 2020, the Blade uses lithium iron phosphate, LFP chemistry, safer, cheaper, and now, thanks to BYD's design, higher in energy density. The Blade design means long, thin cells are structural, not just stored in modules, making packs lighter and more efficient. This cell-to-pack tech let BYD deliver affordable EVs with impressive range. The new Neptune platform takes this further, likely integrating the battery into the car's frame, a cell-to-body concept. Rumors point to refined LFP chemistry, possibly with manganese, pushing energy density even higher. This is how BYD achieves that 1-200 kilometer range. Unlike rivals relying on third-party batteries, BYD controls its own supply, tailoring batteries to its cars and innovating faster. It's a level of integration reminiscent of Henry Ford's heyday. In the battery race, BYD is setting the pace. For legacy automakers, BYD's announcement is a nightmare come true. They counted on a slow EV transition, protecting their profitable gasoline businesses. Now, a $22,000 EV with 750 miles of range has arrived, years ahead of schedule. Their current EVs can't compete on range or price. Slashing prices would mean huge losses. Their business models built on gasoline trucks and SUVs are under direct threat. Legacy automakers are burdened by old factories, complex supply chains, and outdated dealer networks. BYD's vertical integration and purpose-built EV factories give it a structural cost advantage that's hard to match. The result? Panic, emergency board meetings, and painful restructuring. Some will double down on luxury or niche markets, others will face job losses and political fallout. Competing with BYD means reinventing themselves or risking irrelevance. BYD's rise isn't just a business story, it's a geopolitical earthquake. For a century, automotive power meant industrial power centered in the US, Germany, and Japan. Now the center of gravity is shifting to China. BYD's dominance is the result of decades of Chinese industrial policy focused on future industries. Europe faces a crisis. Its auto industry, the backbone of its economy, is vulnerable. German brands built their reputations on combustion engines. Now that edge is gone. The flood of affordable Chinese EVs threatens jobs and entire industrial bases, fueling calls for tariffs and protectionism. The US, despite Tesla, is also at risk. BYD's cost advantage may overcome tariffs, especially with expansion into Mexico. The world may soon depend on China for batteries and EVs, just as it once depended on the Middle East for oil. China's control over critical minerals and battery manufacturing gives it enormous leverage. Nations must choose, embrace, advance Chinese tech, or spend billions building their own supply chains. This tension will shape global politics for decades. Tesla faces the most immediate challenge. For years it led in innovation and brand power, but BYD's $22,000, 750-mile EV is a direct hit to Tesla's mission. Tesla's affordable car is still a promise. BYD is delivering now. Expect Elon Musk to downplay BYD's claims. But behind the scenes Tesla will race to catch up, accelerating new platforms and battery tech. Price cuts may follow, sacrificing profits for market share. Other Chinese automakers like NIO and Xpeng lack BYD's scale and vertical integration. They'll need to find their own breakthroughs or risk being squeezed out. The domestic competition in China will only intensify. Japanese automakers, long focused on hybrids and hydrogen, now look dangerously behind. Their solid-state battery promises remain distant while BYD is delivering today. The industry's slow movers risk becoming the next Nokia. November 6, 2025, wasn't the end. It was the explosive start of a new era. BYD has shattered the barriers to mass EV adoption, not with hype, but with scale, cost, and technology. The era of the internal combustion engine is ending, fast. Legacy automakers face an existential challenge, reinvent or fade away. The global auto industry's structure is up for grabs. Geopolitics are shifting, as China's investment in EVs pays off and reshapes alliances and trade. The debate over free trade, protectionism, and economic security will only intensify. The dust is still settling, but the race is on, and the stakes couldn't be higher. The question for the next decade, who will build the future, and who will be left behind? The revolution is here.
The world is watching.